Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Attila Tarot. In this video we're going to take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of October in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're gonna start with your wisdom of the oracle card and the card that has a message for you today is 19 flexible. So this is uh, <clears throat> the card of obviously flexibility, adaptability, and 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 uh, uh, also adjusting to your current situation. So what this really tells you that uh, this period of time you need to be a little bit more flexible uh, than you usually are. Uh, don't be rigid. Don't be uh, kind of stuck in old ways. Uh, but try to adapt to whatever situation comes into your way. Uh, some of you might be meeting somebody <clears throat> that might not be your typical type but you're actually willing to adjust for this person. So nonetheless, whatever is your situation, it requires some kind of a flexibility. Uh, but let's see what the tarot is telling us. In the center of your reading, you do have the queen of wands. Queen of wands it can be a person, your energy, or just a general energy of the card. This is uh, uh, the queen that's the most radiant, the most attractive from all of them, because she is positive she is radiant she knows how to use the law of attraction and because of that she can get whatever she wants she can get the person the partner the type of relationship whatever she sets her mind to she can get it because as i said she knows how to use the law of attraction and she doesn't care what other people are thinking either because whatever she wants she can get it so i think uh, you need to kind of adopt this mentality as well and that you can get whatever you want. The first card in your reading is the beautiful, beautiful energy of the sun, which is all about positivity, vitality, uh, great things happening, happiness and joy uh, entering into your life. Uh, this can be, like you know, a happy relationship uh, or a new relationship coming into your life. Whatever happiness brings to you, the sun is is all about that. And again. Uh, it's it's also about following the positive mindset as well because you know the queen of wands uh, normally has the sunflower which is following the sun uh, which is all about positivity so you have here the sun which is bringing you all the joys and happiness and positivity that it can bring it is the most positive card in the whole deck so you can imagine that it has lot of positive effects <clears throat> but the sun can bring light to something as well <clears throat> the sun can kind of shine light on certain things that maybe you were stuck and then kind of uh, brings you some information that helps you to uh, move on um, the next card in your reading is the five of pentacles so five of pentacles is the card of lack the card of feeling um, alone feeling uh, left out in the cold this is the card that's kind of can be connected to um, being alone, uh, being single, being single for a while. Some of you might be single parents that have a harder time to uh, connect with people. Um, but it can be also connected to a breakup or a loss of a relationship. Um, some of you uh, might be still in a relationship, but you might be feeling alone. Uh, some of you might be in a relationship where your partner might be having some financial challenges. But this card also calls your attention to help. If you need help, you're able to access it. That key is indicating that, that you're just able to open the door that brings you help. And I kind of love the way the sun is shining down on this person from the sun card. So there's definitely an enlightenment that's coming in. Five of Pentacles, you have to be kind of uh, careful as well because, is, because generally it's an indicator that you're focusing on whatever you don't have as opposed to uh, being appreciative uh, and, and being grateful for whatever you have. And if you're focusing on what you don't have, you're just kind of chasing it away. So try to... Uh, bring in more positivity in your thought process. Uh, try to be more grateful for every little thing that you love in your life. And with that, you're going to be attracting way more things like that. That's what the Queen of Wands is telling you. And you have here the Six of Wands, which is the card of success, the card of uh, being in the center of attention. It is also a card of victory. So whenever this card comes in your life, you're able to uh, expect that whatever you want, you're able to achieve it. So if you are 
single this card can bring the impression that you're there's actually a lot of people uh, that are paying attention to you uh, there's a lot of people that want to get to know you and and uh, you can expect some great outcomes uh, uh, when the six of ones uh, shows up in your spread and i kind of like the fact that look at it how these two people are making the same um, movement with their hands they're just uh, accepting the beautiful light they accepting the uh, to be in their center of attention and they're just going with this positive attitude and the next card in your reading is the lover which is really good to see in a love and relationship reading this is the card of love attraction this is the card of soulmate connection uh, when you're kind of meeting somebody and you're so attracted to each other that you just cannot keep your hands off of each other uh, again if you're single you can expect your soulmate uh, coming into your life or some of you might be already with your soulmate uh, but there's definitely a strong attraction when this comes card comes up and again like you know we talked about here the law of attraction that the queen of wands knows how to use the law of attraction that this is the card of law of attraction so make sure that you keep your thoughts uh, very positive the lo lovers can be also connected to a decision a big decision a life changing decision of some sort that you some of you might have to make in terms of your love life uh, but this is generally also associated with the big yes as well the next card in your reading is the king of cups king of cups can be a person your energy or just the general energy of the card this person is super balanced he is uh, very emotional he uh, follows his heart and he's able to balance his thoughts and his feelings but again like his feelings are important because of that he's actually very um, great communicator he's very diplomatic again can be an indicator of somebody who is, likes to help people uh, very like a can be like a therapist and especially like you know with these two cards if you need some help there's definitely a sign that um, you can uh, get that but this card is also all about that you know some of you might have gone through some difficulties some storms and you were able to uh, stand your ground in a sense that you were still stable and balanced in those situations but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow this channel to make sure that the message gets out to those who need it the most for you it is only costing a push of a button so i hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons only a few percent end up subscribing so i hope you're going to be one of them and uh, i'm always very excited to read in a comment how this reading is resonating with your life uh, and let's continue so your reading continues with the queen of pentacles queen of pentacles can be a person your energy or just the general energy of the card she is uh, the typical mother figure that everybody is envious of because she has this perfect home she lives in luxury she can afford everything she wants she's loyal she is uh, trustworthy can be a person uh, that comes into your life or can be uh, the type of relationship that comes into your life something that's long lasting something that's reliable and this is a great connection I, I i personally like when the cups and the pentacles and just come together because they they are good uh, balance with each other one of them is is more of a dreamer emotional and the other one is a more realistic one so they balance each other out and the next card in your reading is the two of pentacles which is actually very similar to this flexible card because this is all about flexibility uh, being uh, able to adapt to various situations balance things sync things balancing finances balancing how much time you're spending with your loved ones uh, and with your uh, work uh, balancing your feelings emotions and being and uh, being very um, resourceful uh, this card for me is, is again it has the unlimited sign indicating that you have a lot of potentials but i always kind of sense of of like an ups and downs coming with this card sometimes when you feel happy sometimes when you're kind of feeling down as well uh, like this kind of roller coaster effect I, as i like to call it although this card doesn't have it but uh, when you kind of look at the other cards you can kind of see this here that sometimes you're like oh my god i'm like so happy yay everything is great but then other moments you might be 
uh, feeling under the weather and feeling sad and, and uh, depressed. And the next card in your reading, we have two cards that came out, uh, the Devil and the Nine of Swords. So you have kind of like the Devil and the Queen of Pentacles. Maybe some of you are dealing with some uh, Capricorns. Um, but let's see, let's talk about the Devil. So generally the Devil comes out in, in, in our uh, reading when there's some kind of an imbalance in our life. This can be like dependency, being in a dependent relationship uh, or being something out of balance. Like for example, if you're single, you might be uh, spending a lot of time um, with um, one night stands that are not uh, emotionally fulfilling. Some of you might be in a relationship that's very dependent in a sense that maybe there's some emotional dependency or dependency from substance substance abuse as well of some sort but any kind of dependency can can come in question with the devil but the devil always has this um this kind of side that that keeps get go keeps to get you going back to this person if you are in it with a person even though you might not you might know that it's not good for you um, and then you have the knight of swords which is all about um, being afraid being worried about something something that keeps you up all night and and you have nightmares from it and and it's interesting that you have these two figures that are kind of in the same position so there's this again just confirming this ups and downs and when the devil comes up there's a, a very interesting message that you need to pay attention to the imbalances right like these ups and downs what do you have more do you have more of the uh, happiness or more, more of the down uh, down uh, uh, feelings but also telling you that the decision is actually yours like you know, in terms of how much you whether how you are uh, shaping your situation and you also have here the hanged man the hanged man which is all about seeking for enlightenment um, can be a, a, an indication that something is stuck in your life something that uh, you know something is not moving forward maybe you've been single for a while uh, and and you have hard, hard time finding a partner uh, some of you might be um, stuck in a relationship or in a situation and and uh, what this card is telling you that you need to see things from a different perspective a different angle or sacrifice something or just surrender to the process itself but you have here the sun which is bringing you the enlightenment that you need so i, I don't think that there's a lot to worry for you because the sun is always making things more positive there's definitely more flexibility is required uh, from you this period of time so that's all i have for you i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again